Astrobiology is an interdisciplinary subject that's defined in a whole bunch of different ways. NASA defines it as the study of the origin um, and distribution of life on Earth and in the universe. I like to look at it as a life where there shouldn't be life. My PhD was looking at enigmatic tunnels, almost like ant tunnels, except on a microscopic scale, within impact glass that had formed as a result of a meteorite impact. So I'm trying to show that these tubules are actually formed by microorganisms. So if I can show that microbes are indeed, did indeed inhabit this impact glass on Earth, then it's a potential habitat or a potential target to look for life on other planets. So we know that in the early solar system, when it was quite young, and in the inner planets, there was a lot of meteorite activity. Now this coincides with the earliest evidence for life on Earth, so one has to ask themselves, why would life arise on Earth during one of the most inhospitable points in the Earth's history? There's a lot of evidence to show that the earliest microbes or the earliest organisms on Earth developed in a hot environment. Any time that a meteorite hits a water-rich body, uh, such as Earth or Mars, a post-impact hydrothermal system results. So this is hot water rock interaction. You also have uh, protective environments being formed by meteorite impact. A shocked crystalline rock becomes somewhat like a sponge. Protective niche environments for microbes that live inside rocks or endoliths. So now you have a delivery system, you have an environment, you have the heat, you have water rock interaction, and you have disequilibria for microbial metabolism. I mean, this is a college that celebrates the challenges and the rewards of interdisciplinary scholarship, uh, whether it's in the science, the arts, uh, humanities, history, I mean you bring down, bring together all of these areas and the conversations that we have around tea or around dinner really reflect that. This is uh, the Great Hall, this is where we sit down for our meals and it's also where a lot of conversation happens and the conversations are just incredible. They span everything from history and philosophy to physics and computer science and just every once in a while I find myself talking about my own research here. Uh, UBC uh, is renowned for its research excellence and also kind of the non-canonical studies that are going on pushing the boundaries. Astrobiology is definitely not a traditional science, it's an interdisciplinary science that takes from chemistry, geology, biology, philosophy, history, and it mixes these sciences together into this interdisciplinary frontier science where we're pushing the boundaries and asking questions that haven't been asked before. Uh, one of the hobbies that I've been doing for about 10 years is glass work. I study glass at school and in my research and I'm a stained glass artist.